Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, a video about LEGO Set 6563, Gator Landing from 1996. I found the complete set with box and manual, and apparently, it's quite difficult to find the specific box for this set. But one day I was lucky and found the complete set with box and manual in a nice condition. The box looks cool, but it immediately gives me an overwhelming feeling. There's a lot going on, and the box is full of everything. The artwork looks nice, and even though the set is not that big, there are some good suggestions on the back to make other buildings. It is not a classic Legoland box, it has the word system on it. You have to open the sides and slide out the inlay. It is made from cheap, neutral white cardboard. The manual is also included and still looks very good after almost 30 years. A handy format with clear photos of what you need to build. There are four parts to build. The hovercraft. The jeep. The hut with suspension bridge and rock formation and the seaplane. The set consists of 233 parts and three minifigs. It has the theme, town, with the sub-theme, leisure. Here you can see all the parts on the table. I immediately notice that I find very few basic bricks. I also see a bit of everything, Lots of different parts, ready-made pieces, accessories, and a lot of different colors. I don't immediately see a nice coherence in the set. I also see a lot more special parts, and even parts that I have never seen before. These are the minifigs, three in total. Beautiful prints on the torsos and nice facial expressions. By the way, all the minifigs are unique. The combination of torsos, pants, face, headgear and hairpiece does not appear in any other set. So let's build the set. First the hovercraft. It only consists of a few parts, but they are well chosen. Supplemented with nice accessories and details. The big screw is cool. I haven't seen that part much yet. Furthermore, the classic steering wheel, but also a pickaxe, an oar, and two suitcases containing gold coins. So a lot of nice things for a small vehicle. Having placed the minifig on it, it immediately becomes a very colorful vehicle. All the basic colors of that time are represented here. And now the Jeep. This is also a good design, but quite classic for that period. I immediately notice the big thick wheels. These two parts at the front are nice extras. And so are of course the hammer and the walkie talkie at the back. The Jeep that I have built in set 6,490 Amazon Crossing is slightly better and more challenging in terms of building experience. I particularly miss the nice suspension on the wheels. Additional lamps could also have been provided on the roof. And here on this black panel, a sticker or print could have been provided. But it's a solid and nice design. And now the hut with suspension bridge and rock formation. Here it's a pity that two small blue panels were chosen as a base. A compact blue base plate that connects both parts would have been an absolute added value here. 
First, some basic grey bricks. One by one, one by two, and even some curved bricks. More basic bricks and also some plates of various sizes. Then some ready-made pieces. These bricks actually replace 25 bricks one by one. For the rest, some smaller parts, and even a type of door that I have never seen before. Nice to have it in my collection now. I have seen this roof panel before, one of which in the Rocky River Retreat set, but there it also had a nice print, and there were two of them. This plant leaf is a nice accent. Too bad it's only one. Several would have given a slightly more jungle feeling. And here on the side, there is a connection, but no object to hang on it. For example, a lamp, weapon or antenna could be provided here. And now the second part with the rock formation. I'm not a big fan of this ready-made piece. In itself, this is impressive and beautifully made but it takes away a lot of the fun of building. Personally, I would like to build all that with separate basic gray bricks, but I imagine that the production costs of this set will immediately increase. You still have to build some basic bricks on the rock in a different color of gray, and also a black plate and brick, and a gray ladder. Then you can connect the hole with a brown suspension bridge. There is also a prickly bush in the set, but since this represents water, you cannot place it here. So it's really just loose in the set as an extra. For me, this part was not necessary, and the production costs could perhaps have been used for something else. To complete the set, there is a grey parrot and a crocodile in the set. The crocodile in particular is a nice added value, and the eye-catcher of the set. And given the title of the set, I'm guessing this is supposed to represent an alligator. And then there is the last part, the seaplane. This mainly consists of black, red, and gray bricks. These two gray boxes are a nice accent. One contains tiles with a money print. I have also never seen these bricks before. And it's nice that I now also have them in my collection. This grey box contains brown tiles without a print. At first I thought about gold bars, but then they should have been yellow. Anyway, it must be valuable enough to keep in a safe. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I'm guessing packages in a brown envelope. I assume and hope that there are no drugs or banned products of some kind in there. Let me know in the comments what you think this should represent. The rest of the plane is fun to build. It provides a good building experience, the best of the four elements actually. It contains quite a few parts, and it will take you a while. And I had also never seen these parts before. Nice. The end result looks good. It's a small set of which I thought the building experience would be minimal, but I was pleasantly surprised because I had to build four separate things. It took some time and I discovered some nice bricks and minifigs. I'm not sure of the complete story behind the set, but I guess three crooks are doing some business on an island? The idea and the design itself are good, and the designers have created a lot with a limited budget and bricks. 
but I'm not 100% convinced about the set. And that's because of the colors. There is a lot of red present, and the colors do not completely match in my opinion. I especially think that this side is a bit of a mess with a mix of colors. And for the hut, I don't know whether red was the best color for the bricks. I like the red in the seaplane, because it is a subtle accent, in combination with the yellow landing gear. The red jeep is also good on its own, but together with all the other elements, I don't know. I think there is just too much red. So, the hole is not completely my thing, but that is my personal opinion. But I still want to end on a positive note. Like I said, many different cool parts in the set, you get what you pay for. And children will certainly enjoy this for many hours. Of course, you can expand the set with a base plate, additional plants, and combine it with other sets. The set will have a place in my collection because of some special parts that I have not seen before, but also for the fun and adventurous subject, and of course also for the valuable box. Feel free to comment below this video, and don't forget to subscribe, it's free! Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!